We're in the Pepper Family Wildlife Center, which is this beautiful uh, lion house that's uh, one of the original buildings from the zoo. Most of the buildings was built between, oh, 1900 and 1925. This one built in, I believe, 1912. Lincoln Park Zoo is 153 years old, and zoos have evolved tremendously over that time. And the building itself really didn't reflect anymore the world-class organization that we are in terms of animal care experts, leaders in animal welfare science, as well as conservation. When you're talking about marrying a historic landmark building with a modern state-of-the-art animal habitat, there, there were a couple of instances of fitting a square peg in a round hole, um, but I have to admit, I think we all thrived a little bit on that challenge. Working at Lincoln Park Zoo and at Pepper Construction, you know, it's, it's a perfect example for, you know, why I, I'm doing what I'm doing. This was my fourth or fifth project with the zoo. Everything's unique about these jobs. There's not a more challenging type that you're gonna encounter. The end user is a lion. You know, how are you gonna communicate with that? What I love about Pepper Construction is they're part of our zoo family. And everybody's working together for one shared zoo goal. And Pepper just folds right into that. Always working uh, to sort of fulfill what our goals were for the animals, for the visitor and guest experience. Um, and I think they love the zoo just as much as we do. <laughs> Animal safety for the zoo is number one. So we're not gonna turn something over to the zoo that potentially can compromise the safety of the lions. And you know, the last thing you wanna do is you know hurt those amazing animals um, because something's in the exhibit that's not supposed to be. Pepper really works with the design folks and works with us to make sure that those two things merge really well. And so they act as almost a, a middleman there of, okay, this is what the zoo wants. Here's what the designers want, which sometimes are a little bit different and they make it work. I feel like we took it to the next level at Pepper Family Wildlife Center. We spent several years collecting hundreds of hours of data on how our lions use their space previously um, to understand their preferences and to use that to inform the design of this new habitat. A lot of times in zoo habitat design, you see sort of an open yard, but not a lot of complexity with animals that truly like to climb. So the rock formations, not only aesthetically did we want them to reflect the kopi rocks that you would see in northern Tanzania where we are actually doing conservation work, but also to get the right uh, size and scope to provide uh, multiple choices, high vantage points and also vertical complexity. We also looked at climate control features. We went from two heated surfaces in their previous habitat to 16, and then they seek shade, and then they have the cooling features as well with the cool forest stair. And so really they're deciding to be in or out. It's all one contiguous space. I think the most rewarding part for me is watching the lions acclimate to the new Pepper Family Wildlife Center and seeing them literally use every nook and cranny of this over 18,000 square feet of space. It's really important for us to have this building really truly shine as an example of what Lincoln Park Zoo is not only to the local community here in Chicago, but also worldwide in terms of our global impact with conservation.